Okay, so, um, assigned, uh, one for the history books. I'm actually really excited to fucking take on, um, the, uh, story monster. Nice. I'm probably gonna get tricked, but, yeah, let's do it. I'm fucking keen. So I'll depart now because I, you, I'll probably need to watch a cutscene before you can join. Oh, uh, yep. Yeah, because after last night, I was just like, I think from now on, because I'm going to constantly be behind you guys, because I'm juggling Fighters Z and Kingdom Hearts at the moment. Um, I think from now on, what I'll do is I'll just go on the quest. Instead of you guys having to fucking wait to join me. All right. Oh, shit. Now's a good time to DM um, Taz. Yeah. I'll DM Taz now. Her, my character looks like a Nazgul. <laughs> no man can kill me. See, it's interesting that, like, not to get topical, but how come she wasn't figured as a, like, strong female character? She is a strong female She's character. Like yeah, but I mean, like, as in by that group who were obsessed with strong female characters. I thought AO1 was important in the book. Was she? Yeah, I, I'm, I know Arwen definitely wasn't. When the time comes, but Eowyn I remember being in the book. But I mean, it's been like literally 10 years. <laughs> yeah, I'd probably say literally 20 for me since I read Lord of the Rings. Oh, yo. My dad read me um, The Hobbit and the first book, and then I read two and three by myself. I like the voice they've chosen for the blacksmith. I think that the dub actor is, is very well suited for the role. Yeah. Talking of blacksmith, what do I need for my next weapon? Probably just money. Everyone's like, why do you have multiple weapons? It's like, because every monster has a weakness, you idiots. Like yeah, I found out for me with the insect glaive, the, um, having three bone glaives proficient in separate elements is the best way forward for me. But having only one uh, alloy weapon, because the insect alloy ones aren't very good, uh, except for the, um, the poison damage. Whereas bone allows me to have paralysis, fire, and water. I love the design of this monster. The Zora Magdaros. I've currently a straight damage weapon, a fire weapon. How do I, um. How do I reload the ballista? Uh, you had to pick up more ballista ammo. Oh, okay, sweet. Thunder. Thunder, 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 and fire, and dragon. And, Ooh, oh cool, R2 is just fire. I'm doing no damage. Sh am I supposed to be hitting the, oh I see, they just take ages to hit him. Yeah, he's really <laughs> far away. And yeah, I, I, didn't, I, I wasn't thinking about that. I was like, he looks real close, and then I realized that's because he's literally a mountain in size. Probably not, because I'm still in the ballista firing stage. Oh, this is cool. This reminds me of the sorties that you can go on in Final Fantasy Zero. No, I can join you. Oh, cool. God, I love Final Fantasy Zero. I wouldn't mind actually playing through that again. As a prequel, it's f flipping good. When I heard they were making a prequel to the FF series, I was like, that probably won't work. And I was, uh, thankfully, very wrong. Oh, shit, if you shoot its beard off... Where are the cannons? Uh, further around and up a little bit. The green on the marker I Oh, cool. Awesome. Thank you. I'll go. Oh, you can only pick up one cannonball at a time. Yeah, you have to load five of them at a time. Your palicots help you load cannons, which I think is adorable. Yeah. 
I, I like that they're, okay. they're integrated into the game, like, very well. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, if I grab the cannon... Oh my god! Yeah, you load it. My Pelico just went off to get me stuff. Bro, I ain't afraid of you. And you can, you can adjust the cannon and where it fires by hitting circle on the sides of it. it oh, cool. Cannon. Comes very useful in the the uh, Sora Magdoros fight that I've just farmed because. Uh, Wait, we can farm this quest. Not this one, no. Oh, I was just like, how cool is that? Do you have his armor set? Does he have one? I'm wearing it now. It's the one that looks like I'm Nazgul. That's so cool. Fire's a cannon! Oh, cool. It's not only the Pelico helping um, fill it up. It's uh, the NPCs are helping me. Usually in games, NPCs are just there to just, like, fill up the environment. Yeah. Like in the first Halo. Because in Halo 2, they thoroughly fixed that and you could turn your, you could turn your soldiers into better than the chief. Man, the cannon does a significant amount of damage. This is so cool. There's lots of balls over here. I've always liked the idea of kaiju. Though in real life it would be the most scary thing ever. But uh, <laughs> in video games it's all good. Oh hey beef. Hello. Loads of cannons. Fuzzy cannons! This kind of reminds me of um, that scene in FF10 with the Albeda firing that cannon, but um, in this in this instance we actually stand a chance, unlike the Albed, who didn't. <laughs> wow, you actually look like a Nazgul. Pity we can't go into the ravine and collect the stuff we're breaking off him. No way, they got giant capturing devices. Yeah. I feel kind of sad because this monster isn't actively hunting us. It's just doing what it does. Yeah, it is destroying the ecosystem. That is true. Yeah, which is what I actually love about this game is like there, there actually is a, uh, like a conservationist team. Yeah. Because humanity needs these monsters, but they also need them to like be manageable. I've always imagined like a far future for this series where like we've domesticated them. Wow, it's got a like a volcano for a back. Now, hammer it with all you've got. We need to wear it down. Sorry, I was a bit too trigger happy there, sorry man. Right, I'm up the top. Oh sweet. How does the Pelico have the upper body strength for that? These cannonballs do not look like they're heavy. I mean, uh, light. I wonder how humanity tamed these, um, pterodactyl looking beasts. Probably breeding. Hmm. That's how they, uh, they made those pet foxes. And then they got, like, cute fucking, like, what we would deem as cute, um, aspects of their phys uh, physiology. Yeah. Is that what the we phoenix just, are? Yeah, you just well, we just bred like friendly um, foxes and didn't breed the aggressive ones. 
and then eventually their ears got droopy and they became more subient and it's like that's actually interesting that proves genetics have everything to do with everything yeah and the whole nature versus nurture thing is actually Like, this is probably going to be a bit too risque for YouTube, but I've always thought that people actually can be born evil. Oh, yeah. Like, just actually I with... with Yeah, without their parents making them a bad person, they just are bad people. Because our personality comes down to hormones, man. You fuck with those, it's all done. <laughs> I was like, who's that? It's Beef King Salad. Spitting flames on the mic. It's interesting that the ammo actually goes down. I think that's quite cool. Yeah, it's a good good idea. Because otherwise it'd be just like, oh, this mission would be really boring. Yeah, because there's no agency. Yeah. But the fact we actually have limited, like, resources not only adds to the realism of the world, and which is funny because it's a giant fantasy landscape with dinosaurs, but, um, uh, yeah, again, back to the agency of the actual mission it's interesting for your um side of the server there's still ammunition there for me it's empty cool just chuck some in there oh, you so loud, I broke my candle. oh wow <laughs> I like the the friendly monsters that like I don't know what's going on man <laughs> I'm seeing some shit right now <laughs> sweet so do we have to move forward now yeah obviously now we're gonna mount him Kevin Spacey style <laughs> topical Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Oh, this is so fucking cool! <laughs> okay, so there are... There are magma cores. Yeah. Which is ones over here. Are they uh, a, a, a resource? Yeah, and when it does that... Roll away? It's, yeah, because it's Bruce Fire on him. Yeah, and I've got... um, I was an idiot and wore Baroth armor to this fight. Which is probably the silliest thing I've done this entire game. Oh! Blocking, blocking, blocking. Whoa, what the f fuck? The AOE on that's insane! No, but I need. Pelico, can you. Is there? Ah, oh, yep. And the thing you can mine right here. Oh, hopefully it's got the thing I need for my Puki Puki. My Blooming Glaive. I mean, because if it does, that's going to be cool. <gasps> what the hell? Holy shit! Fuck, I hope I'm going the right way. Have you gone inside the beast? Oh, yep, cool. Yep. Oh, sh oh my gosh, I'm such a fucking tool. I saw it, and then still decided to keep wailing on it. Hey, I'm so confused. So I like having a shield now. Oh, I see. You don't get the full... You don't get a full heal unless you actually stop to drink. Yeah. I was changing posture once. My entire spine cracked. Terrible day. Oh, some more mining. Please be what I need for my Puki Puki. Uh, 
I, what I really do like about the campaign in this game Understood. is they talk in a fashion where they're talking to a group of people. Yeah. Which is really, really good. Because, like, a lot of um, single-player games, like RPGs with, like, a multiplayer mechanic will be like, you're the only savior in the universe. You're like, what about these other 20 people? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> nah, not them. What's up? What are you doing here? I don't know, but that's cool. Oh, she's get, come here to give me supplies. Well, she just gave me an ancient potion. Cheer, lady. Nice. And now she's just flowing away. Here's this potion. I'm leaving now, because uh, this is legitimately a battle zone. And then Rosa from Final Fantasy IV is like, Bitch, I'm the White Mage. Because she's Rosa from Final Fantasy IV. The best one. Okay. Dragonite Ore. That, yep. That's great. You might fall off the yeah, side. I was just thinking that. The glaze like real acrobatic though. That's like the the only problem with it. <laughs> like our palicos were like, you guys going ahead of us? <laughs> we'll make sure nothing happens on the ground. <laughs> Oh shit! Oh my god! Uh, what happened? This is really scary. Oh my god. My, my insect just came flying back to me. It was like, fuck that. Oh. How come there's no fall damage in this game? Like, I'm happy there isn't, but just like... We fall from some pretty good heights. Otherwise, it'd be fucking impossible to play. No, yeah, that's a good point. Especially if full damage was physic based. It's like your armor is this heavy. <laughs> you are now crippled. Your hunter is now in a wheelchair. Am I going the right way? I'm not, am I? Up for you. Oh shit! 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 Block. I can't wait to upgrade the shit out of my glaive. Because, um, I, to nurture the insect. Yeah. Because if you nurture the insect, it turns into a bad ass. Okay. Nah, it's not like that's what we've been doing this entire mission. Oh my god. Now you're probably wondering why I didn't do anything, and the, the answer to that question is, I have literally no idea. Oh shit, oh my god, oh my god! Shake, shake, shake it off. Oh shit, no, no, come on. You need to drink this drink. Yeah, you roll around because you're on fire. Oh, I forgot about that mechanic. Well, being on fire. No, rolling to be not on fire anymore. I was like, right. it was just go away. <laughs> Nothing was happening. I was like, anytime now. How the fuck do you get out of here? Oh, here we go. Oh, hey, is that a compass? Yeah. I've never looked at that before. Holy I shit. We've killed all the magma cores. I don't know why we haven't gone to the next stage of the... Maybe we haven't. Yeah, so I've just oh, locked yeah. on. Oh, no, we, we definitely have. 
Do we have to go back to his head? Oh my god! I fell back inside him. Oh, hey! Can I mine while I'm in this angle? Oh my god! So that wasn't the sharpest thing I've ever done. I miss those old uh, condom ads, you know, sex is in an accident, where it portrays this like really random sequence. Like a guy like losing control and um, rollerblading down a hill and this chick's like putting groceries away. It's like, what? Do you remember the one, um, and there was the uh, hundreds of condoms and they're running towards that, uh, hundreds of sperms and they're running towards that lady and then they get stuck in that condom? Yeah. I think that was the best one. Cause that lady's like, uh, they're your friends? Like... <laughs> oh, fucking shit. Where the fuck am I supposed to be going? Oh. Ticked off everything, so I'm really confused. I think the game's just like freaking out because it's not supposed to have done it so quickly. Oh yeah, cause they were like, bring it over to the second thingamabob. I found something to break. That's good. I'm just still mining. Cool, I broke a thing. So maybe that might have been a magma core? Wow, it's so much faster to climb if you tap X. Holy shit. Yeah, because the, um, the NPCs were like, bring it over to the second thing! So I think we've actually, well, by we, I mean, you've done too much damage. <laughs> oh, hey. Oh, fuck. Oh, nah, that's bad. I'm just gonna, I'll be right back, man. I need to take some hand to get some means. Had that like mad tickle my brain's just like hay fever's coming bro and if you don't do anything about it it's gonna be bad she yeah. um so we have completely like messed up the sequence order right yeah yeah so you know i watched this um series on youtube called sequence break and camera break and um oh there we go finally yes yeah, because it's so slow um but that it seems more fun in that that youtube series than it does uh actually in real life yeah because you're like i think i broke the game yeah <laughs> nothing beats sui Kodum when i had to find a way to lose against this boss because he didn't do enough damage It was so bad. But I love that um, if you win some of the unwinnable situations in the game, the, the, yeah. you can actually get like character bonuses and some people just don't die. I'm really like, once I finished one, I'm going to head straight onto two. Travel via, via Wing Drake. How do I even do that? Oh, and if you put the data in, you'll be able to. Um... I can get some of the cast from one, right? Yeah. Is it a Diablos? No, that is... An... Nergiante. Nergiante. Yeah. So 
Did you see that petition to ask Spain to change the word for black? Which is? Negro. Why? Is that language? Yeah. They're like, can you change the word for black? And I was just like, you can't ask somebody to do that. Like, what? It has a completely different meaning for them than it does for us. Oh shit! I mined 52 times. Oh, has the mission already finished for you? Yeah. Holy! Oh, whoa! That seems like a bit unnecessary. That's so cool. My poison stat's still effective in the cutscene. Oh shit, is that blonde? Is that redhead guy dead? Well, who's this guy? So many questions I have the answer for, but I can't tell you. Yeah. Oh no shit! No way. Hello. It's like summon a jelly. It'd be so so funny if like I sequence break the game because of the poison stat, and like he dies in the cutscene before he's supposed to die. <laughs> Yeah. It's like in the original um, Halo 1, if you're playing co-op and you throw a plasma grenade on each other and walk into the cutscene with um, Captain Keys when you punch his face when he turns into a flood. Yeah. If you, you'll both blow up and the game will soft lock and you won't, you'll have to turn your Xbox off. I see, so that Nagante has actually screwed this all up for us. Yep. I can't wait to fight it. Thanks, Nagante, you dick. But he was just turning up to see what the commotion was, eh? He was like, hey, what's going on, guys? <laughs> oh, no, I reckon there's something sinister about it. Oh, you reckon? Do you reckon there might be somebody who's trained it? It'd be cool if it was that cool elf guy from the beginning of the game. Very pretty cool. The elf guy's like, hey, it's me, that elf guy. I was the bad guy the whole time. And then I'm like, leave the loss. What do your elf eyes see? Nicholas. What do your elf eyes see? It's like there's this like weird picture of All right, weird left. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> he looks over and he just sees QR codes everywhere. <laughs> Since his streets been great to thee, we've lost track of it, sir. The situation has made it quite difficult for us. However, I think we have a chance to salvage the situation if we can pick up its trail on the other side we've got some good news from the field team on that front tectonic movement from so we, the past tell me when your hunter rank is all five and we go do that other that random mission five times three times we'll do there's no point we exhausted our supplies during the last operation even if we did track it down there's no way we'd be able to pull off anything if left standing oh sweet so we have to reprovision that's cool So the next one I can get. It doesn't matter. I don't we really want without notifying the guild of the situation now. We could send so I can build that, which decision. just got 40 sleep Captain. stack, which I don't really need until I can get Whatever rid of Arden as dragon. I've been watching the sea channels, waiting for my that? Heavy bang. I need Diablo's fangs and a Odo Garen Claw. 
together. We're going to brave whatever lies on the other side and find Zora Magdaros's trail. Hunters, head to the Great Ravine as soon as you're ready. May the Sapphire Star light your way. Dismissed. So he's sending somebody back to the old world. Yep. So there's very little active story in this game, but the story like fits with what you're up to. Yeah. Like, it's not like, oh. Oh, hey. Right. How do you find out your hunter rank still five? Okay, I'm assigned. Wait, so I have to go on an expedition? Okay. I'll be sent on an expedition, so I suppose you won't be able to help me until I um, shoot up an SOS flare. Pretty much. In the interim, I'm going to fly in Chaz and get him to join me on this quest. So they actually... We, we sure did. Let's What series is it where the time machine is called the Way Forward Machine? Can't remember. Enough information to go on for my brain to spark two neurons together. <laughs> How come I can't open up the map? Oh my god, I don't want to talk to you ever again. Who says tickle my toadstools? This place is an incredible. We didn't even slow it down. I'm guessing there's something pretty important on the other side. You see the other side and he just finds a giant bush. Look at this massive treasure it made. This this is the power of an elder dragon. <laughs> I love how like, this is the power of the Elder Dragon, and all the dude is doing is going for a walk. Like, that's so good. This is his power. His ability to walk forward very slowly. Think we're getting close? Yeah. What missions do I have to do? Whoa, what the hell? This used to be an ocean. <laughs> what do you see down there? <laughs> I like that. When you go to places and um, it used to be the ocean and you can see all the like remnants of fossilized coral. Yo, is the handler dead? Oh, no. no. Because I wouldn't be able to handle her then. <laughs> Sweet. I'm guessing I can SOS flare now. Oh, my God! 
Dragon, if you mess up my boo, I'm going to stop you from existing. Luke Skywalker comes. It's me, Luke. I'm different from the books, so everyone's going to hate me online. In the EU, he was, he was the best Jedi Master that ever lived. Level 9, level 4, level 6, level 8, level 9, level 6, level 4. Oh, there's a level 11. Oh, this person's house is cool. Oh, it's a research base. Oh my god, there's an elf king. Oh, queen, rather. Oh, hello. Hmm. You're awake. Do you remember your fall? A friend of ours found you napping in the veil. Carried you here. But more to the point. Congratulations. You found the third fleet. I'm their leader, to the extent that still means something. And this is our research base. Our fleet consists entirely of scholars. Which fleet are you with? And how did you get here? What happened in the Great Ravine? Ah, I see. The screen faded to black to fill me in on the missing parts of the story. Hmm, I see. So, the Sora Magdaros was the last Elder Dragon to make the crossing, and it breached the Great Ravine when you tried to capture it. Well, I suppose after all this time, we may get to finally do what we came here for. I must say that I'm stimulated. Oh, shit. Can I come back to mine later? Well then, let's not waste any time. We need to pick up Zora Magda's trail. Even though legitimately the commander said we shouldn't do that because there's nothing we can do to stop it. An expedition in the Coral Highlands might be fruitful. Wouldn't you agree? For obvious reasons, that is what we call the surrounding area. A nice, thorough expedition should reveal the Highland secrets. It's a good idea, is it not? Considering you can't respond to me, I don't know why I'm asking you so many questions. I know it's a good idea. I came up with it. Now, go. Quickly. Doing a careful expedition into the Coral Highlands sounds like a good idea to me. Hmm. Hey, partner. Okay, well, can I do a quest now? Assigned. I sure can't. Are you reached level 5? No, you've got to be level 6 to do the, um, the Nora Outcast quest. Okay, so we need to go to the Coral Highlands. So hopefully the Coral Highlands is like, hey. Nah, it's six. Because when I go to it, it says, you're not a high enough level. Yeah. I can do the, the two Jagras hunt. But I can't do the Nora Outcast hunt. Weird. So I just need to final, finally get to six, then we can go go do it. Man, time passes so bloody quickly when you're playing this game. It's already eleven thirty. Oh, yeah. What the hell? Zitsi Yaku. That's what I need to see. Oh my god. Oh wow, this environment is gorgeous. How is the PlayStation not struggling to render this? Pre rendered? Nah, it can't be because you can interact with it. I'm, I wonder if the game does what The Last of Us does, where it uses that big, huge loading chunk to do the entire game in one big bulk, so you don't have any load scenes. I thought that Naughty Dog just hit it really well within the... Um... 
No, it's why the game takes 10 minutes to load when you load your game. You know, you have to wait at that, that screen that has literally nothing on it for 10 minutes before you can play. Uh. Oh, I like the look of these creatures. Hold on, I'm petting you. Oh, do you want to fight, bro? Oh, okay, fine, but I, I literally didn't start this. Oh, no. Oh, what the fuck? You little bitch! Oh, you'll make photography, Raptor. <laughs> Is that actually what it's called? No, but it looks like a photography, Raptor. <laughs> that random episode of Rick and Morty. <laughs> oh my god, heaps of them have turned up now. They're called Shamos. Shamos, yeah, bro. I mission to kill 10 of them and it was giving me um, 8,000 Zeni per thing. So Whoa. I did it repeatedly until um, it was gone. Because it was an investigation that I could only do five times. And that's how I built this armor set. Because every single time I got the pieces from it, I just went to that mission. <laughs> I've got one for the, um... For a, for a monster you haven't seen yet, which is 10,000. Oh, wow. But like, you have to do it in 30 minutes, and it's like, uh... Oh, wow. These things just won't quit. I like literally didn't start anything and they decided to start a rumble. This is on you guys. Are they eating a Kulu? Oh wow, that's cool. I found it. Sorry, bruh, but you're not going to leave me dazed and confused. Why did it make a chicken noise? Come here, motherfucker. Bobby Big Nuts, what are you up to? Give a brother a hand. Probably should have eaten before I came here, to be honest.
Why are you concentrating more on the Shamos than on me? I'm the guy killing you. Because it's like natural predator. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love when your Palico pulls out that little cannon that it's got. <laughs> yeah. That's the best. Come on, bruh. There's, I can see damage being done in like the peripheral of my screen and I'm just like there's something out there getting eaten by something else right now Uh, go to your um, optional quest and it's level 3. No, 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 I'm literally looking for it. Like, physically looking for it. Oh. Fuck, I keep forgetting to use my pheromone spray in the middle of fights. And it's actually really useful because if the monster starts running away, my bug will fuck it up. Come on. I don't know how much health you have, brother, but come on. It's weird, like monsters that like take ages to kill even though they do like literally almost no damage to you. here as well this is awkward i need to farm some engine so i can get a bone flame stuff i'm watching two and two monsters fight each other so <laughs> that's like one of my favorite pastimes in this game it's just watching like except for when you're trying to capture a monster and your monster runs into like a diablos net or something and you just get they just get fucked oh my god there's another monster Yeah, they're a bit of a fraidy cat, to be honest, as a species. Them and the Kulu uh, Yaka. Kulu Yaka are extremely fraidy cat. Bro, just let me mount you so I can finish this fucking fight. Oh my god. 
Bobby Big Nuts, what are you even doing, bro? You get mounted, bitch. Oh, wow, that's not smart. Paolumu. What an interesting looking creature. It's like got. It's a flying mammal. Are there that many mammals in this game? Yeah, I'd say so. They're all real nasty. Hmm. I always feel a bit ratchet when they're like trying to sleep and you turn up and you're like, Cuzzy, this fight isn't over. And they're like, please. Oh, that's cool. Your palico can whack you out of being dazed. The worst is like when you're running through a forest and the forest poisons you. Yeah. And you're just like, come on, man. Like, I'm just having to go for a stroll here. <laughs> he was like, good, I found a place to sleep. Have you had your Palico kill a monster? Yeah. Yeah, it was, I was, um, I had a Kulu that just wouldn't get captured. And I was like, I was like sweet. So I placed my trap and Bobby Big Nuts killed him. I was like, thanks, man. <laughs> He was just about to walk into that lightning trap and now he's fucking dead. So like, got your back, man. Always got your back. Oh, fucking bullshit. Oh my god, where did he go? Don't you dare sleep, you cunt. Yeah, ready for a rude awakening, bitch. How much health did he get back? Damn it, he was limping before. And he, he didn't even get to go to sleep. He put his head down. And he looks like he's fucking fine. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yacking poison on me. The Puke Puke? Yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake! Bobby Big Nuts! Just die!
Bro, I broke your ears. How do you even feel about that? <sighs> you dick. I don't even want to... I don't even want to, like, just... You know what, man? You brought this on yourself. You're responsible for what happened here today. No zitsi yakus were, were harmed in the making of this. They were killed, though. <laughs> yeah. But they died of old age. They were killed by time. Which is what I named my blade. I think I might equip a poison bug next time. Alright, time to find this campsite. Shamos, do you really want to start a fight, bro? Last time I killed like 20 of you guys. Oh, yuck. Why did you eat your own for? Oh, he's asleep. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, time to find out where these people are. I want to go where the people are. I want to go. I want to see them happy. Oh, hang on. I want to find Beast Palico. There we go. Beast Palico. Sweet. I should have went looking for your Palico as soon as this mission started. I would have made that fight a lot faster. Oh my god, there's another monster here. Oh my god, it just did fuck tons of damage to me. <laughs> hey, it's I've me. Seen it other monster. Oh my god, it did blast damage. Run the fuck away. Is that a mammalian or a reptilian? It's a flying thing that's just dive bombed the fuck out of my whole area. Whoa. I've never seen the monster before. How do you tail whip someone when you've cut their tail off? Um, Psyduck that doesn't really even... Have a tail? Yeah, but he knows tail whip. So I just put that down to video game logic. She said this would be a good place to put down a campsite. Oh my god, I finally found out what I need. I need three uh, something crystals. Coral crystals. Whoa, that's cool! There's like uh, jellyfish that live in the air. Hopefully they don't insta-kill you. Oh, I can't wait to do bloody investigations in this area. This area is cool. It's my favorite area so far. This coral reef looking place. Yeah, coral reef's nice. I don't like the rotten veil. Is that like the blight town of the games? It's covered in poison and shit? poisonous gas in the low-lying areas oh shit that actually is worse hey what the hell Actually, some of the monsters live down there and you're like cool i'll just kind of constantly take damage while fighting you oh, i should have taken a vespoid quest It's, um, Harriet Skelly's, um, Pelico. That's alright. Okay, so where does one need to go now? Oh, oh shit. 
Oh, I stabbed it in the eye and it killed it. Awesome. That's pretty cool. I was riding on its head. I was riding on its head and I was just repeatedly stabbing it, and that's how I got the fucking last hit. I need to find one more mining outpost. Oh my god, the thing's here! Okay, well, before I continue, I want to hit up this mining outpost. Thank you. There's the best way there. I love how, like, if you're not going after the monster, you can use your flyers as pretty much, like, medieval Google Maps. Like, <laughs> Yeah. need to get to this mining outpost. Well, I have no idea what that thing is, but it's terrifying. Oh, that's interesting. Oh. There's these, um, sort of snake-looking things that, like, dance out of the ground. They're not malicious, which is cool, but I kind of want to get a better look at them. Holy shit! Oh my god! Why is the Paolumu fighting- hunting me? Got bored one day? Oh, I got a gem. And it is a mine Maya Walker aquatic skill. Okay. Oh, flippity flip. Flop hey. flop. Uh, I hate missing the, like, Tarzan vines, because they're so much faster to travel along than, like, go down, come back up. Yeah. 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 Miss Ignorant. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I have to... Lady, I've got things that I need to do. The plant life here is amazing. So I know what thing I have to find to get blast damage. So damn sure. <laughs> the game's like, if you want to kill the Palumu, you need to go fight it now because it's leaving. And I was like, if I take that on, I probably will die. Oh, mining outpost. I mean, outcrop. Is it up here? I see. Hmm. Is your elven eyes? <laughs> what do your elf eyes see? Legolas! Blood has been spilled this night. Damn, I need to watch that trilogy again. Let's do a podcast of all of the extended editions. It'll be nine hours long. Let's do it. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
Nick Minute, Howard Shaw, copyright strike. You know what? The leads. How do I return back to the research facility? Uh, world map square. Click on it. Oh, cool. I can't for the life of me remember what the Jedi dude from Heroes is, uh, from Rebels is called, and I always keep calling him Cassian, and I'm like, no, that's the wrong movie. Oh, um, oh, I'm Hunter X6 now. Nice, we could do that thing. Yeah, um, fuck. Oh, what the hell's his name? He's the one that, Kanan. the one that, the one that trains, um, Kanan. Ezra. Kanan, that's yeah, the one. Yeah, Kanan. Rebels is Kansuri. good. And what's funny is Rebels is more child oriented than Clone Wars was. But I still think it's Doctor. really good. <laughs> Can I go back? I see that you've returned empty handed. A shame. What do you mean I returned empty handed? I did the missions you asked me to do. Hmm. Anyway, you have a visitor. Well, look who it is. My two favorite hard workers. The third fleet master here tells me he went out on an expedition in the Carl Highlands searching for Zora Magdaros clues. She also tells me that there is a rotten veil way, way down beneath us, which gave me an idea. We want to be able to access the veil. We need a means to get down there, so I propose that we resurrect the wrecked base. What? Hold! This, that's so cool! We're going to build a base out here. This is awesome! As in rigging it. We're like actually part of the building of the new civilization. And without like some dumb like craft a town mechanic. Yeah. And leader here's all of it. Oh yes. I'll get to your heart's content. From the air we'll be able to survey the rotten veil unimpeded. And hopefully that's where we'll pick up the Zora's trail. The airship engineer said it'll take the airship construction. All we need to do is deliver the goods. Oh my god, we get to build the airship. According to the scholar's materials from the monster called the Paolumu. Or just the ticket. Oh, I should have hunted the Paolumu while I was out. Fuck. If you take care of the Paolumu hunt, that will free me up to go look for some secondary materials. Deal? Oh, and here. I'm going to say and give this to you. It's a specialized tool made for using materials from the local monsters. They had a handful of biosamples kicking around in this area decide to put them to use. The old man said he hopes the new gear helps you out in the field. You'll put it to good use, I'm sure. Well, let's get to it. Good luck. And someone next door is cooking an amazing barbecue. Guys, all of this is amazing. Those bastards. Mm -hmm. There's a pookie pookie weapon. That's awesome. That one? No, that's the Rathian scale one. Oh, I've given the materials. So, uh, square... Let's go home. Uh, two toxic shot. sex. Done. Done. That's the plant, eh? The toxic sack. No, it comes from a pookie pookie. Pookie pookie. I, I like the design of the pookie pookie. It's like it's the like middle part of an evolutionary line of like a reptile race. <laughs> Halfway between a like chameleon and a like fucking 
seen like yeah like yeah like a comedian and a and like some sort of that that when they had the frills from um yeah. jurassic park Bro, I know you're trying to tell me a cool story right now, but I just want to upgrade my shiz. Oh, this is so cool. Ha <laughs> yes! A speed boost. I don't really need that. Okay, so now I need to upgrade my bone glaive. Okay, so I've got uh, a level, uh, almost max level chopper mm -hmm. from Rebels, and he's fighting two stormtroopers and they can't kill him because he heals as much as they do damage to him. So he's just literally hurling rocks at their heads and he's dead. <laughs> he's a support character, so he does like shit all damage. That's so good. Boom. So every, da every time they attack him, they're doing um, 300 damage, and every time he like has a turn, he heals um, 1,200 damage. They sound like they're uh, not not in a good way. And every time he hits them, he does 2,000 damage to their face. I need to make one more bone glaive. Uh buy them yeah you can buy them yeah, yeah. from, from the, the lady oh yeah yeah what do the fivers do for the peoples of this town so we're the fivers oh i see okay all right well i'm gonna go walk the dog and i'll be back soon man so it is